Uh, it's always a next man mentality. It's some it's a big thing that Iowa has here. You know, last time they played Northwestern uh, in Chicago, we were down with bad certain guys. Akron Wilder had to step up, and that was before I even got here. So we've always known that if anybody goes down, it's going to be the next man in to step up and do the same thing that they started doing. When did you know you were not going to have those guys? Did you know all week? Uh, actually, I didn't know. I was just out there just you know, lining up and practicing the way we were. So okay. everything was questionable. And the person that really controls that is uh, Coach Ferentz. Did it change your approach at all, knowing that, that you, I mean, you tried to do a little bit more? Or? Uh, definitely didn't change my approach. I uh, just tried to do the little things and, you know, do my job and execute my job and finish my job. So, uh, you know, whether we had Brandon out there or Josie out there, I was still going to have to go out there and cover. I was going to have to cover or make first, tackles when I was going to have to make tackles. Yeah. Shot about in the first half, obviously. It looked like a second half they kind of got more of a rhythm. What, what did you see about their offensive adjustments they made? Uh, I don't really think they made too many offensive adjustments. I think, it, again, it came down to us on defense. You know, communication in the back end is something that uh, we try to eliminate big plays with, and we had a few mishaps out back there, and I feel that um, if we just communicated a little better and we kind of uh, you know, cut down on the you know, minimum mistakes, we could have better had a better outcome.